Hello uh, YouTube, this is my wind-up deck list here, so we're going to look at this. Basically it's the 40 card deck, no side deck, but I can go through that separately, and a small extra deck. So we're going to start off with Double Veiler. Uh, double Veiler is there because it's a hand trap that can shut down an awful lot of decks in this modern meta. And even in the past few meta, it's proven extremely useful. Windup has a 15 card engine, which means only 15 cards are required to make it run things really smoothly. Meaning you have plenty of space for anti-meta stuff, really good cards, generic cards. So Valor was there too. I didn't put in any other hand traps. There's no maxis, there's no gores, there's no trag. There's nothing at all like that. So they're the only two hand traps of Valor's. So now we're going to go on to some of the other cards that aren't windups which are two Snowman Eater, two uh, Thunder King Ryo, and two TGU, Tour Guide the Underworld. Uh, I'm not running Sangens because I think that Tour Guide, searching out Tour Guide, if it's in your opening hand, it doesn't matter. You can just special summon it from your hand. Uh, two Tour Guides, it's a quick uh, Zen Mighty carrier because that is very useful to open up with. It means you can get out the cards quicker. It's also a Zen Mains, or a Leviathan, Levere, or Acid Golem. That's an instant level 3 exceed, and level 3 is perfect in this deck. 2 Thunder King Royal is just really good to open up with. If you haven't got all the wind-ups you need to make your necessary play and go off and do your combo, just open up with one of them instead of back row. Uh, and Snowman Eater is, an e is just as good as Thunder King Royal in many aspects. It is high defense, so if your opponent attacks into it, they'll take the life point damage. Their monster will will uh, be destroyed because you're when you slipped up. It's very rare that something can attack over this, since most meta cards will have uh, less than 1900 attack. Now we go into our wind up section. So there's four different wind ups. You run three of each. You know, run three magician. Now magician, uh, when another wind up's effect is activated, you special summon another wind up from your deck. So magician's pretty decent. Uh, wind up rabbit. Basically, wind up rabbit's the generic cool guy in the deck. He doesn't require anything else to be good. Basically, what you do with him is uh, you can just snore. If you summon him on your first turn, you can basically wait till your bonus turn and activate its effect. You know, with uh, another wind up and get its effect to pull off uh, with the factory. That means you can search for your play next turn. Rat basically is a is a get out clause. He can be an instant Zen mains. He can also be really good uh, combo breaker to kill anything your opponent does. I mean, you can go instant Zen mains or instant Leviathan or Levere or whatever. And three shark, which is the really cool guy in the deck. Basically, when another wind of monster summons you, special summon this guy, and you can change his level to five, four, or three. So. As you can imagine, instant exceed plays there. Basically, you need two cards to start up, and you're guaranteed a wind-up killing spree. Basically, if you open up with Shark and Magician, this is what you do. Normal summon a Magician, Special summon Shark, Activate Magician's Effect, Special summon another level 3, or level 4, um, wind-up monster. Then use Shark's Effect if it's level 3 to add up a level, or if it's level 4, keep it the same. Basically, then you go into Shockmaster, call spells or effect monsters, whichever your opponent's run. If your opponent's running lights one, you go effect, because your opponent's not going to activate as much spells as effects, which can kill you. But if you're against another deck that kind of uses spells, like Gravekeepers, or even traps, if you're into that kind of stuff, go for that. Um, you can. There's an awful lot of great combos in this deck. The great thing about this deck is you can uh, make really, really long plays that can result in three or four exceeds. Um, then we're on to our spells. Uh, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, the main guys, and then 3 MST for spell destruction. Now these guys are, are pretty staple-ish. Now Book of Moon isn't here in the deck, I just choose not to run it. Um, personally, me and Book, Book of Moon aren't friends anymore. I stopped running them after Black Rings. Uh, Pot of Avarice and Salvage, they're for recovering monsters. Salvage is for the uh, Snowman Eaters and the, the Sharks. And Sharks can be reused a whole lot. So if you add them guys to your hand, your opponent's not going to be able to come back. Because remember, all you need to do is summon one light sworn and it's instant. I mean, one uh, wind up and it's instant level three or five. Especially if you if you bring them two back, normal summon shark, then special summon shark plus one each terrace. Um. So and average average is for everything, and you can plus two cards you add them to your deck. 
uh, wind up factory you're on three of those what wind up factory does is kick ass so wind up factory is uh it adds any wind up to your hand when a wind up monster's effect is activated once per turn two dark bribe two deep prison the solemn brigade and two torrential they're for summon attack and uh spell on trap negators so they're pretty stately but uh yeah this deck maintains control and swarm capabilities at the same time. Similar to how Black Wings is run, you basically set set your back row. The opponent does anything, boom, boom, boom. Then on your turn, you basically search out your entire deck. Now that's a bit of an overstatement, but you will search out four or five cards. Quick special summonings leaves the field in ruin. Your opponent doesn't have a chance against this deck if played properly. It's the number one meta uh, deck this format it's tier one not tier zero because it doesn't it doesn't make every other deck look uh terrible but it is tier one because as a tier one deck this this uh deck has the most tops has the most regional wins has the most ycs's and uh it only shares the tier one platform with maybe georgia and hero maybe even rabbit but that's it that's it and that's they're even kind of just maybe cards so that's the main deck i'm sorry for taking so long and it's a great deck. Um, your exceeds then, I don't know if you can see this. Sorry, the camera's a terrible quality. I apologize profusely for that. Uh, two Shockmasters, uh, Maze Stroke, Levire, Leviathan, Acid Golem, two Utopia. Um, this is Volcasaurus, who's not out yet, and I don't even know if he's coming out. He's pretty good, but you, you're not going to have him, so just take him out. This is optional, by the way. This is just how I'm running it. It doesn't even have 15 in it, so, you know, I'm not playing this really well. One Terrace and one uh, Zen Male. Then you got your Zen Matey and two Zen Males. A lot of players recommend one Zen Matey and maybe one or two Zen Males. I say go for three Zen Males. I know I have only two here. But you can literally get him off four or five times during it during a game because if you think of it you can get them off with tour guides you can get them off with rat instantly with rat you can get them off with sharks you can get them off with rabbit and something else you can get them off with snowman eater imagine just opening snowman eater uh flip flip them up destroy one then you go rabbit with him it's easy to get them out so whilst many disagree i think that's a good idea now for the side deck side deck is completely based on your mana but what i found really works with this is a a semi d prison setup so you don't run any d prisoner uh, macro cosmos but you run a soul release and i know that a lot of people don't like soul release but i think it's really good especially if you open turn two or three with it it can basically shut down your opponent you don't even have to remove more than one just two or three uh i mean you don't even have to remove all five you just need to remove two or three that will shut down your opponent's plays or at least slow them down then 2 DD Crow, or 3 if you're preparing that. Um, DD Crow is an excellent card. You slide in the third Veiler. You also use uh, System Down by 2, because Georgia are a force to be reckoned with. Uh, it takes up 2 slots, which kills them. Absolutely destroys Georgia. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, that's the most input I can get. I've played windups a lot. I've been testing them. I'm making my own wind-up deck. What I need is uh, 3 Shark. I'm sure you've seen that in my monster list under a few videos, and 1 Rat, and I'm done. Alright, so thanks for watching YouTube. Goodbye.